Mike Cernovich, how you doing, buddy? Gavin, what an honor it is to be with such an esteemed colleague as yourself. No, no, no. The honor is all mine. You're everywhere. All over the paper. Daily uh, Beast, you're on uh, Bloomberg, Breitbart, New York Times. Everyone is talking about you proving all of our suspicions, which was that basically Trump is being wiretapped. Dude, I just found out that they were actually, Susan Rice and Obama, they were actually spying on pro-Israeli activists during the Iran negotiations. This is getting bigger every day. Oh this my. is, yeah, I just found this out right as I was about to go on with you, so I had to do a quick periscope and get that out there. No, 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 this goes way deeper than anybody knows, and that is why the New York Times sat on this story just like they, they covered up the, the, um, the Lewinsky scandal and like they covered up the John Edwards love child story. You have to go to independent outlets to find really breaking news exposing Democrats. Yeah, this is about Obama. I've always seen Susan Rice as a lackey. He sent her to the talk show circuit to talk about how uh, Benghazi was a myth. She told us that Bo Bergdahl was uh, a great soldier. She's been lying for him for a long time. So we've really ultimately caught Obama spying. You can look up the details of what unmasking is, but basically it was not incidental. It was them specifically targeting Trump communications. And uh, it was funny watching Don Lemon yesterday say, we're not going to talk about this. It's not been substantiated. We're just going to talk about Russia the whole time. But but uh, Mark Stein and Tucker Carlson, he goes, what's really going on here is they just proved that there was no collusion with Russia. Because if they were spying on Trump and there was any evidence of that, they would have been screaming it from the highest mountaintop. Boom. Well, and it's like we talked about on your show earlier is that Trump said I was wiretapped, quote, right. the reports proved it rather than say, oh, wow, Trump, is, Trump has been vindicated. They go, well, who leaked this story to Nunes? Where does Cernovich get the story? Oh, and Trump was never illegally wiretapped. And you actually pointed that little trickery out to me. Trump never said he was illegally wiretapped. He goes, he, he didn't say it was illegal. He just said he was wiretapped colloquially. So now the fake news media is saying, well, Okay, Susan Rice maybe unmasked him, but it wasn't illegal, so Trump is still wrong. What a disgrace. And they spend all this time on a theory with no proof and then totally ignore a fact with proof. And I'll tell you what, I would much rather have Russia spying on me than my own government. Who sabotaged the election? It looks like Obama did his darndest and didn't pull it off. But the rumor is that we're going to focus on is a bunch of boring emails. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to focus the attention away from the biggest scandal. This is bigger than Watergate. Obama's been hiding in Tahiti. Where's Obama? Yeah. His daughter is out. I don't want to be too gossipy gossipy, but, you know, the pictures floating around about Obama's daughter, the stories and everything. He's basically an absentee father. And I'm <laughs> sure you've heard a lot of things, too, about the New York party scene and What's going on there? Yeah, she's been going to clubs underage and attacking people like Lucian Wintrich. Didn't you say that uh, you think they were spying on you too? Oh, no, I know for a fact they were. That's not even... I knew they were spying on me back in December because I got confronted by a media outlet with information that the only way you could have known is if you had spied on me because the kind of people I talk to don't want people to know that we're talking. So they're not going to snitch. I wow. don't snitch because I don't know anybody. I don't know nothing. You're going to have to, you know, I don't know nothing about nobody. So the only way they could have found out certain things is if I had actually been wiretapped and spied on. Well, I think you're pissing off all the right people. I, even National Review, who we, we now know are the aristocratic monocle-wearing posers, are mad. They call you testosterone-fueled, ignoring the fact that you were taking testosterone because you had a brutal skin problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But... <laughs> the, they're so out of touch that they try to insult me by saying, look at Cernovich. He goes to the gym. He likes to have sex with women. <laughs> what an awful guy. He, he, he gym, does testosterone. He's he a really brute. Amped up. Right? They're so out of touch, bro. And all we have to say about the National Review is that they wrote an entire issue against Trump. Yep. They tried to take out Trump. They failed. They don't matter, they're irrelevant. And I just wanna say something because this is from the bottom of my heart. I'm not even reading these news articles about me. What you, Stephen Molyneux, Paul Joseph Watson, the, the Kumi, I care what you guys think. I don't read, what, when you guys talk about me, then I'm like, oh, I'll actually watch that video. 
But I don't care what the fake news media is saying about me because they don't matter. We are the resistance. We are what matters. The people watching this are who matters. They have the power. Well, on behalf of everyone who matters, we like you more than a friend. Proud of your boy. Thanks, Mike. Hey guys, thanks for checking out that video. I do a show uh, that you gotta pay for, subscribe to. It's called How's It Going, A? Eh? And I talk to uh, interesting people about interesting stuff. And it's very serious and educational and political and smart. You can subscribe by clicking here. Ah!